Welcome back to another edition of the Electrician's Tool Channel. Today I'm going to give a short review and let you guys know what I think about the new Klein. Well, it's not new, but it's new to me. The new Klein, uh, my new Klein ET310 uh, circuit finder. Now, this is the first one that I've owned as far as Klein version of the circuit finder. I've used one that didn't belong to me. And uh, just to test it out to see if I would like it or didn't like it. And, uh, you know, just to see if I would be impressed with it. Well, I was impressed with it. Impressed enough that I thought I needed to get me one. Uh, I already have a circuit finder. But it's an analog version of, of uh, Ideal Industries. I forget the model number, but I do have a video of it. And... Uh, it, it works fine. I've been having it for a, 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 a number of years, and it hasn't let me down yet. But uh, this is the digital version of the Circuit Finder. And having older technology, which would be the analog version by Idea Industries, they also make uh, a digital um, version of that same uh, Circuit Finder by Idea Industries. But I just so happen to have the analog version and again i say it works fine and it still works fine to me for me for, to this day now i know uh it's, it's kind of old technology and i didn't want to take a chance on me being out in the field and working and uh you know is unable to perform like it's like it's supposed to for some apparent reason but it's you know it's kind of like old technology so it's kind of like using a um uh, uh what I want, a Illinois tester, per se, against a, a multimeter. You know, both of them will give you 120 volts. Yeah, sure, you let, let you know there's power at that outlet. But the uh, the digital multimeter will uh, work properly. It would it would give you a proper diagno uh, diagnosis of that outlet or you know of that measurement. But anyway, uh. This is a really nice tool. I know the client has been coming out with a lot of uh, gimmicky tools lately, and uh, but I mean they've been hitting the mark every time. So uh, I got I got to give them that. You know I I, I loved client tools for, as far as the hand tools, and when they when they first came when they start coming out with all the test instruments, test tools and stuff, uh, I was kind of skeptical, but you know I'll be the first to say that I'm impressed with this. I mean, I'm, I'm really impressed with it. And even though I just took this one out of the pack today, and but I have used one that belonged. I saw a guy on the job. Um, he had one, and I used it, and it worked really well, really well. I'm pleased with it. And uh, so I that way that helped me make a decision on should I get one or not. And yeah, yeah. So uh, I am pleased. With this one, and uh, I don't know. I know there are a lot. There, there, there are several of these on the market. You can just, you know, circuit finders uh, on the market. But um, you know, me testing this out made all the difference for me. So on a scale from one to ten, guys, if I had to rate this one, uh, I would give it a. I would give it a ten. Uh, well, that's nothing out there. It's perfect. But I'm, I'm gonna say a nine point five. Put it like that. I'm gonna say a nine point five. To me, that's perfect enough. But it's really good. It's, it's, I think, one of the better ones on the market today. I can't speak for the rest of the ones that I didn't use yet. They have a few more. They have some out there by um, uh, Triplet have one. Uh, Mass Tech has one. Um, Etch Tech has, them, has one. Ideal Industries have one. And uh, I think Greenlee have one also. So there's several of them out there. But uh, I haven't. the only one I've used out of that bunch that I just named was uh, the Ideal Industries. And uh, that, you know, that one is really nice, too. So, uh, you guys out there, you uh, you young apprentices, you're looking for a nice circuit finder. This this is a, this is a, 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 an essential tool, essential tool that you're going to need <clears throat> to add to your collection. Uh, a circuit finder. And um, I recommend this one. If you if you're looking for a nice, a nice circuit finder that won't break the bank, this one is pretty nice. This one, is, is, this one is really nice. So uh, I, the only thing I hate about, I don't like about it, 
and that's why I'm taking the point five points away from it, is this. Uh, the battery connection, you know, I don't need to get away from this. This is, it's nine volts. It's not going to be in nine volts. I hate this. I hate those, those uh, wires. They could have put two connectors that's, that's embedded into the plastic for that. I hate, after, I'm always thinking after a while of pulling these off from years to come, pulling this cap off, putting it back on, pulling it up, putting, you know, you may even pull one of the wires out or you wind up breaking the cap. That's what I hate about it, you know. But, but other than that, um, you know, Klein has done it again as far as one of their little gadgety tools. So I like this tool a great, a lot. And to turn it on, I mean, those who don't know how to do it, it's very simple. Plug this in there. It also comes with a G GFI uh, tester. Uh, and, you know, let you know that, you know, if, if, if it's wired properly or what have you, a quick check of the receptacle. I have other tools for that too uh, that, that will go a little, little bit more extensive than this would to tell me about the receptacle, if it's bad, good, if it opens short, so what have you, shared neutral. Uh, but this one is, you know, on, on a quickie, yeah, this this will do just fine. And like I said, the GFCI tester right here, and it's also all into one, it's a transmitter that sends signals to, uh, to when you go to the breaker, looking for that breaker to turn power off at the receptacle, it turns, uh, it's, it's a strong signal that would turn, uh, send a signal to this, and you can find that breaker. Now, you just turn it on, give it a chance to do like a self check or what have you. And you go up and down the breaker. What I normally do, you don't just go to the breaker and just scan over down. You know, you go down. I always go twice on each on each row. Go down. And if you like, some people may go up the other go and go down the other row too. And then come down the same row again. Either way go, but I always do it twice. Sometimes I find myself going one time and then down the same side twice, one twice, and then I move to the other one, same size twice. Well, I just might go like a figure eight, basically. You know, but on that second try, you should find it. You should find it on the first one, but uh, that's the way I used to do it with my ideal because it's recommended. The, the instructions told you to do it twice down each line. And um, this one, when I used it before uh, with the, down the job, I went down once. And it may be, it may have something to do with, like I said, this is digital and the other one was analog, not sure. But, uh, you know, it worked on the first go around. But if you can't get it on the first go around, well, either two things, you may be a little bit too far, possibly, I don't know, but go around the second time. If you can't find it on the second time, you may be in the wrong panel. Uh, but if it's residential to the house, well, you guys, I, I, I don't know. You mean, but you're an electrician, you'll find out. But anyway, uh, that's, that's what I do. But again, I give it a 9.5. I like it. And, you know, if, and so, so if you guys um looking for a good uh, circuit finder out there, look no more. I think, I think this one is a real nice one. Well, okay, guys, I just want to thank you again for watching. This is the the Klein uh, Klein Tools ET three ten uh, digital circuit finder. Uh, thanks for watching. If you have any comments? Leave it. Uh, leave it in the a comment uh, area. And if you have any questions? Also, go ahead, ask the question. But uh, I want to thank you guys from always uh, leaving questions and, and and making comments and watching my channel. With that being said, you guys take care. And as always, uh, peace out.